Hello, dear YouTubers and patrons. Today I have for you a watercolour demo. Um, it's a speed paint that I did um, this afternoon when I was um, looking for a sheet of Windsor & Newton watercolour paper when I suddenly found a little painting that I hadn't finished yet. And rather than tearing it off and starting on another painting, I decided to finish this one first. So I grabbed my um, painting set and I um, got to work. Um, as you can see, I'm working on a tree here and trees are a um, recurring theme in my work and have been for a great many years now. Um, they, The interest for trees comes from my love for nature and especially for, you know, being around or under very big trees. Um, there is something awe-inspiring when you're walking under those quiet giants. Um, they are carrying the heavens. They are hosts to so much life. And they are also hosts to so many stories that people came up with over time. So... When I paint a tree, I rarely paint a tree realistically. Um, and I'd rather paint the tree, you know, as an, as an image, as a crossover um, between, you know, the reality, between what the tree looks like and between um, what a tree is in the tales that we tell about it and the worlds that we find in them. So some of my trees will be quiet and simple, as if I'm just looking at a tree like this one. And yet, because of the, well, because of the foliage, or the lack of it, you could maybe call this sort of like a ghost tree almost, because it's not really, really a tree. And yet, you know it is. And some of my trees will be worlds of story, where you can find things in the tree that that um, shelter stories. And that's how I see trees. Trees have always been a meeting place for people. You know, there were trees in villages here in my country with um, a bench beneath them. And then the elderly of the villages would gather around the tree and they would tell each other stories or gossip, of course, but also stories. Um, people would play below trees. Um, trees just played a big part in the lives of people, not just for wood and not just for food, but also, you know, they were always, they were leading the way. If you were meeting up with someone from another village, you'd be meeting um, at a big tree because that would be a landmark that everyone knows. Um, Trees also offer shelter for very bad weather, like snow and rain and sun, very scorching sun. Um, and, me and trees have sort of like a microclimate. When you're sitting beneath a tree in the summer, the air feels so different than the air that feels, you know, away from the trees. There is always some sort of humidity in the sky. There is always life. Um, it's cooler, of course, but it's it's a friendly space to be. So when I sit by a tree or um, on a bench in a park, you know, and watching the trees, what I love to do is look at the bark of the tree. I love the intricate texture. I love the growing marks. I love all the 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 humps and bumps on the on 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 the on the tree on that that also are a sign of life sometimes wanted life sometimes very unwelcome life but it's so intriguing how the tree takes shape and how it gets the shape over the years because they many trees become so much more so much older than we do and they grow quietly and softly. And at the same time, when you look at how trees can push away concrete roads and concrete walls, you know that there is a force in that tree that's much, much stronger than, than the force we have inside of us. 
It's just that they move more slowly. They live more slowly than we do. And in all those years that they live, they witness so many things. There's so many stories taking place. So many breakups, so many first kisses, so many kids playing hide and seek. There's so many things that trees are a witness to. And if you stop to think about that for a moment, all the things they've seen during their lives, that's all inspiring as well. And it's also a source for inspiration. So when I paint trees, I paint a tree that's in my head. But the, the tree in my head is a tree that consists of, you know, sort of like a collage of many images and of many stories and of many impressions that trees have left with me. So I will let you watch this um, speed paint demo until the end and I'll play some music for you to make it more agreeable to watch and I, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you enjoy it you can like my video or subscribe to my channel or if you like you can check out my Patreon because there's more demos over there. Bye!